quick introduction. I'm the director of product marketing here at Dundas. What we're focusing on and what we'd like to leave you guys with is definitely the second line there, title in, uh, in our AI slide, delivering greater adoption rates for the analytics. We definitely like to do it through a innovative big data embed solutions with smart visualization. But even if you don't have big data or even if you, you don't want to embed your solution, at the end of the day, it's definitely focusing on delivering that greater adoption rate for your BI analytics. What I do want to stress here is that at the end of the day, when you look at how many users actually need a pure self-service, it's only about 10% of the business users. And they do require a different skill set that the majority of the business users doesn't have. And, and I think the reason vendors focus so much on, on that self-service term is because of that big shift that the market had pretty much since say, visual data discovery uh, tools started to emerge back in maybe 2010. That big shift and, and the way that all or many vendors class a bigger bucket of, of their business users under that self-service category, I think in, in a way it's really oversimplified that they uh, they are challenged. So it's almost like we have an overreaction towards self-service and trying to cater a lot to those 10% of the business users. And in, in a way we kind of forget a little bit about those more casual business users, the uh, explorers or the consumers that needs the information delivered to them slightly differently than the way analysts and data scientists can play with it. And I think the other limitation that we see or the other challenge that we see of that big focus on self-service is not just around the governance, but also around the way we're serving those casual users. And I think that's a point that often is being missed because the market is overreacting and focusing solely on the analysts and scientists or mostly on those, we end up delivering tools that are not that convenient to the uh, casual users. They get a lot of inconvenient functionality that is better suited to power users that have the skills to use that type of functionality. And for them, it's overwhelming or it's not easy to use or it's uh, hard to find. So really, what's the impact of all of that? Um, at the end of the day, the impact is that the majority of the business users are not using BI analytics, not getting those insights effectively. And what we see is that there's no increase in the adoption rates of, uh, of those tools. Um, the casual users still have that dissatisfaction and they see the reports and dashboards they deliver to, to their customers as a cost center more than a differential. Everything we try to do is focused on that greater adoption and, and the way we believe that we can achieve that is by delivering a solution that is really flexible to the point that the users can really use it to the way they need it. And it's done with smart interactive visualization that ultimately give the different types of users that experience that they really love and can be proud of when either they deliver or whether they consume. So when we came to design Dance BI, what we decided to do is really develop a framework, not just a platform. And when I say framework, what I mean is that everything in the application is actually built upon open APIs that not only our developers can use, but everybody can use. So if you, if you look at the framework, it's really quite comprehensive. It's a single AI framework, so there's no different modules or additions or a, uh, separate blocks that we've integrated over the years. It's all playing nicely together. What I, I do want you to, to keep in mind is, is the way we deliver that functionality to the different users. What we added here is a small tweak uh, where you can see the content section between what is highlighted here is the tail of creation and the uh, tail of preparation and between the tail of consumption and the tail of creation. You can see that that content area is going both ways. And that's really what allows us to benefit and have that governance in play that allows a, a, an analyst to go into the system, connect to a data source, go straight to the creation of data without going through any data preparation and use the uh, automatic data models that the system generates for them. And then at that point, promote that into a business model or a data model that will be used by the rest of the organization and IT may further enhance or approve or, uh, or set as a standard. Now, again, I mentioned it's a quite comprehensive platform. There's a lot of functionality in it, but our greatest uh, focus is definitely around uh, catering to what the majority of the users need, definitely catering to those 90% of the users and, and what they want. So really what we try to do here is, is to combine what was good about the IT-led world and what was what is good about the business self-service world. And what we've seen as a great success coming out of this framework is definitely our ability to cater better for an embedded analytics solution. So with Dance BI, because it's entirely web-based, because it can be completely white-labeled and morphed into the user's needs, the entire self-service environment that catered to those they uh, use that need self-service can also be integrated in the solution. So here's what Dundas is providing to its customer. That's what we, we focus on. That's what we do every day and, and really drive any action we take here. We try to get more people using data effectively. And the way we do it is using professional BI analytics and delivering it using a seamless user experience. 
being able to cater to different types of users and providing that seamlessly. That's our ultimate focus and that's what we've been doing all those years.